Yo, what is good, Sage Army? It's Perry Sage Jack, some more of the Shinobi Shaker content, and today we are back with yet another build video. Now, this build will be a really good healer build, focusing on the survival mode of Shinobi Shaker, and also utilizes one of Tsunade's new jutsu. It is a really good build. I encourage everybody who watches this video to please uh, check out this build. Uh, before we start, please like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Sage Army today. We are currently at 87 subscribers and I really want to get to that 100 real quick so please press that su uh, subscribe button and without further ado let's get straight into it Alright guys, now before we get into the gameplay, let's just check out what our build is real quick. So for the weapon, we have the one chew bottle. I think that's how you pronounce it. But this weapon is a new weapon that you get from the Tsunade DLC. This is a really good weapon in my opinion. Uh, it does really good damage, really long combos, really good combos. And just gets you kills uh, really easily. Now for the ninja tools, we'll be healing seal. Now the reason we have healing seal is because we have no healing ninjutsu on this build. So you want to get your health back real quick before you die because if you do die in the survival mode you lose a lot of points while everybody is gaining points that's an easy way to get you to that last place which you don't want now the costume top will be mitsuki outfit color 5 now for the skills the he the top is boost healing need you to recovery power that is a really good skill a, a, a really good skill especially for healing ninjutsu now um the bottom is shortens ninjutsu kudan time that is a grab and go skill really i use that for all my builds just gets your ninjutsu uh back quickly and you can just you know spam your ninjutsu and it's really helpful now for accessories we have the tendo's earring uh the skill is greatly reduces ninjutsu kudan time when your health drops below a certain point now of course for the uh, costume and the accessories you could use whatever you want you just have to have this specific skill but yeah this skill is a really good skill in my opinion uh, I think it's the best skill that you can have on accessories period it is just an uh, all in all really great skill now for the ninja 2 one we have nervous system rupture this is a new jutsu that you get from the Tsunade DLC it is a really good jutsu uh, in my opinion it does a lot of damage it does uh, quite a lot of da not too much damage but it does a uh, pretty good damage and uh, also reverses the control like let me just read this real quick and due to where the user electrocutes a target affecting their nervous system as well as damaging them it will reverse their controls for a while this is a really good due to uh, it kind of reminds me of when Tsunade hit Kabuto and uh, when he tried to uh, move one muscle or finger and move the opposite finger it is a really good due to and I'm glad that they actually implemented this due to into the game now Ninjutsu 2 will be 8 Trigrams Air Pond. This is what everybody uses on their healer builds. It's like everybody uses the Jutsu. I mean it seals your uh, their Jutsu. Also does damage. Pretty good damage in fact. Has really good tracking. Not too much range but enough to get the job done. So yeah it's a really good Jutsu. And it really uh, goes along well with the nervous system rupture. Now substitution Jutsu will be just normal substitution Jutsu. Because we want a low cooldown time. Healers are not too takey, so they can defend themselves for a long period of time. So you want a substitution due to with really low cooldown time, and the normal one does that great. Now you could also use the high speed movement, which also has 20 seconds, just like the normal one. And yeah, you could use either one of those. I just decided to use a substitution due to because um, I wanted to. I don't know. But the secret technique will be shadow pull due to. This is, in my uh, opinion, the best, the best secret technique. To have in survival mode because it loads um the, the cooldown time is so low and you can use it um guaranteed two times in one match i al always get uh to use it two times in one match it is an easy kill get someone half health or even above a little bit above half health you could still kill them it does a lot of damage and it's pretty easy to use you just get close to somebody get him in a combo and then boom you get him uh into those paper bombs and they are dead Alright guys, that's going to be it for the build, but please make sure to check out the montage right after this clip. It gives you a really good view on how to use the build, how I use it, and just how to use these specific ninja 2 in, uh, specific ninja 2 in general. And yeah, please make sure to check out my other videos. Like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Sage Army today. Peace.